My turkey's gone. I said, Andy, what did you do with my turkey? <laughs> Pouch is out of her mouth. She put the turkey and stole it in her mouth, and my wife and daughter are trying to hold it in. They couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> 30 seconds later, I said, Andy, what did you do with the turkey? Pouches are getting smaller because she's eating it. <laughs> and 30 seconds later, Andy, what did you do with my turkey? Pouches disappeared, you know, Stein, she ate all the food. It's a true story. <laughs> now, I had a bird Rodney, a white eyed cockatoo. He'd dance, he'd sing, he'd hop. He played picky boo with me every night and answered me. And sometimes when I picked up the phone, it was actually him imitating the ringing. <laughs> he was very talented. One day a creditor called. And he said, can I speak to Mr. Greenberg? Hello. Can I speak to Mr. Greenberg? Hello. <laughs> can I speak to Mr. Greenberg? Hello. It's a bird. I figure I'm not paying the guy anyways. Let him handle the grief. Let him talk to the creditors. Who cares? He likes corn niblets. So I have corn on the cob, and he started on one end, and I start on the other, and we meet in the middle. And one day, he bit my lip. He thought it was a corn niblet. I said, Rodney, what did you do? <laughs> Rodney, what did you do? <laughs> Laugh it. Now, my little dog, little one, she, she, was, she was a sweetheart. And she rarely got in trouble until this one night. My kids are fighting over Halloween candy, makeup, clothes. And one day I'm a referee, the next day I'm a judge. I'm trying to get in the middle of this. So this lady comes over, and we're ordering bat mitzvah cards for my daughter. That's a special day when the Jewish and you turn 13. And so my daughter, wife, and the lady and myself were sitting on the table, and the dog comes down. Number one, what did you have in your mouth? That was Halloween candy. She had it in her mouth. I told her, hey, get in your house. She came down with Halloween candy in her mouth, caught her red-handed. She said, get in your house. So about an hour later, we go upstairs. So what happens? <clears throat> what happens is I go under the bed. I look under the bed, clothes, Halloween candy, makeup. She's got lipstick on her because she wants to look pretty. She was the one stealing everything and the kids are killing each other. <laughs> Unbelievable. Smart now I had this, this 40 foot leash and stake in the backyard and she'd run all day and she, you know, she'd chase people walking, jogging, cars, motorcycles. That was her turf. She's run up and down. Great exercise. One day I get a call at 9.30 in the morning from the Gurney police. Mr. Greenberg, your dog's at McDonald's. I said, that's impossible. Mr. Greenberg, your dog's at McDonald's. I said, that's impossible. I'm looking at her rabbit tag. Then she's at McDonald's. <laughs> so like a good father to retrieve his daughter, I went down in my pajamas to get my daughter, realizing that she had chased a jogger one mile down by Great America, by McDonald's in the heat.